Let's begin, shall we? It's time for the latest progress report. CF does it better, okay? I, I rarely do the intro for this anymore. All right. So we got Celestial last seven days, and we're going through the total. So number one, we still have TSL with 34 mil total EXP so far this season. We have Factory Reset, who are now number two. They were number one last season, so, I mean, still a huge feat. 26 mil, almost 27 here for the last, you know, six -ish days. We have Friendly at number three at 19 mil. We had The Forest at number four with 18 mil. And Wolf Blood, Wolf Wolf, the guild I am in, and carrying Theron. Dude, Theron used to carry this guild, and Dagon. Uh, it's mainly me, and now that Silver Wolf is in Wolf Blood, I'm carrying even heavier weight. Unreal chat. Anyway, we're at number uh, number five, and it's just excellent. Wolf Blood has not been up here since the Dazed Era um, with Silver Wolf before he disappeared. <laughs> so excellent stuff here. Um, not really much to say about uh, this this tier, uh, but you can see the earned EXP uh there the gap is closing uh, between the second and fifth positions they're all relatively similar uh but tsl you know different planet just like when babel was number one do you remember them yeah all right moving on to legendary this is the sixth or tenth position here and we have dps they were number five last season and they are arguably the best pve guild in the game because there's no other PV guild above them. Uh, and they are at 15.7 total or 15.7 mil total EXP earned. We have Prostor at number seven, which was Wolfblood's rival for the longest time last season. And now they ain't at 8.8 .8 mil total EXP. Yi. The nice who say Yi, who I literally thought they were dead uh, every time I boot up this uh dashboard. At number eight with 7.3 mil earned. Now at number nine, we have a very special guild. Uh we have a short bus guild called Shadow Garden. They're at 7.2 mil, two positions forward. Don't know how they do it. Uh, I thought they all had exams for the rest of their lives, but you know, congrats to the Shadow Garden. Number 10, we have Heaven and Hell moving four. Is this a bug, dude? What the f 14 positions. You can tell Dark came home. Dark was on vacation. She was in Brazil in the jungle. Uh, and now she now she's back. And Heaven and Kumo, will you stop that? His fat butt hitting the door thing. Uh, and now they moved 14 freaking positions. This is going to be the thumbnail. This is going to be the thumbnail for the SGL. Heaven and hell. They're cool again or something. I don't know. 14 positions. Unreal. Earned. Looking pretty good. Uh, DPS is just like blowing it up here. Heaven and hell might be their only competition if the earnings stays the same. But Prostar is a really strong build. So eh, we'll see. All right, moving on. Oh, here's the epic tier chat <laughs> I, sigh. I sigh but here's the epic tier we have fake italia i'm just don't get mad italia all right i know you're not you're not supposed to be italian but it's just like a thing it's it's a joke i started two a season ago but we have italia at number 11 here with 6.5 uh mil earned they dropped out because heaven and hell exploded upwards that sounds weird number 12 we have still friendly two moving a position with 5.8 almost 5.9 mil uh exp earned and then we have murders of the universe chugging along uh with 5.8 almost exactly the same as still friendly to whoever they are uh moving forward with their exp earned now look it's a slaughterhouse okay asgard and dj or dgk or demolition's great kingdom which demo and lucas are in uh in asgard we all know and love jason chief uh they got bodied because H and H just ex just ruined, you know, they skewed the numbers so aggressively uh, that they just got slapped down. So here we are. Um, I don't know if the bleed will stop, but let's just look. The earnings are drastically getting lower here uh, in Epic Tier. I mean, last season they were higher than this, uh, but yeah, not looking too hot here. Moving on. <laughs> Not much to say. Yeah, I I got a floral shirt on, dude. I don't have to waste my time here. Okay, elite tier, brother. Uh, and number sixteen, we have Resolve. They also dropped out uh, from the above tier. Resolve, uh, one of the newer guilds, one of the stronger guilds too. Very stable. 
Um, it's just going to happen when you have guilds flu you know, fluctuate in EXP earning here. Earnings? 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 Yeah. And we have Sorrow Keep. I think legit the newest guild in the SGL. Uh, at number 17 with 4.1 mil earn. Good for them. Helheim, Heaven and Hell's little baby brother, is now number 18 with, uh, what is that? 3.6 mil earned. Four positions forward. They body Black Dragon. Black Dragon was way ahead of them uh, last update, if you've watched the VOD. And these two have arrived early, okay? They were like, oh, we're best friends. We, you know, went to the same high school under the Cherry Blossoms. It was all good. And then Helheim ended their alliance and backstabbed them while they're all asleep. I don't know if they were asleep, but backstabbed them, okay? And now it's just like, there's red in the eyes of Black Dragon. So Helheim... Uh, bodying them isn't going to bode well for Black Dragon. ZZK or Zealus send the kitties moving to position with 3.4 mil earned at 19. And there's Black Dragon getting bodied four positions down at number 20 with 3.1 mil. All right. Let's look at earned. Yeah, you know, it's pretty low. Pretty much what you expect. Demo says, Bro is going to milk the Helheim and Black Dragon be forever. What am I supposed to do, Demo? Not freaking talk about it? Beefs just don't disappear. Try, I don't know, getting educated. Okay, here we are with rare tier. We have at 21 golden arrows, which blows my mind. Uh, two positions with 1.6 mil earned. That is horrendous for a guild of this magnitude, uh, or at least a guild with so much history in the game and used to be a celestial tier guild. This is insane. I think you guys just need to like respectfully retire your guild. Like, what are you guys doing? It's just so unreal. If you've watched two seasons ago, even three seasons ago, go watch the VODs. Like, Golden Arrow should not be here. Frontier, uh, actually, I maybe they're one of the newest guilds in the past year. There's a lot of new guilds actually in this tier. Dropping for, dude, Heaven and Hell just screwed everything up. I mean, look at this. Frontier got bodied down uh, with 1.3 mil. Brazil Grind, 1.4 mil earned four positions down. Living Death Stepping. Sounds like a Japanese uh, alternative rock band is 1.5 mil earned with three positions down. And then the unknown, the newest guild in the SGL. Now I can I can finally say that and be right. 2.8 mil earned EXP with two positions forward. So they were a tier two, uh, tier two guild and they've already crossed over the dead bodies down there, which we're going to go over. But let's look at the earned. Wait, this is earned. Okay, here we go. Here's total. <laughs> <sighs> not much has changed huh <laughs> all right we're good why is Pison basically whispering what are you talking about dude okay also i share a wall with pitchers right now until we move so i'm not like trying to scream uh okay so that was Oh my god, I'm going to zoom out again. I am. Oh my god, I'm going to zoom out. Anyway, that was the top 25 guilds of the SGL. We're now going to move into the tier 2 portion is what we dub it. And I, I have to keep, I just have to keep zooming. Oh my freaking goodness. All right, here's the tier 2 portion. This is the 26th through the 35th positions on the, on the SGL. <laughs> My mic is like sagging on the SGL. Uh, and these are the guilds that are fighting to get into the top 25 or it's the graveyard for the, uh, it's the graveyard. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But anyways, this is my favorite portion of the SGL. So besides Celestial, because Wolfblood's there. So number 26, we have Alpha and Omega. They dropped out of the SGL uh, formally now. So here they are. Wolf has dropped out of the SGL. Slums is a newer guild, and they've moved three positions forward at 28. Dante's Infernal Room, this is a very old guild that comes back. Sometimes they're in the SGL, sometimes they're just dead for, you know, half a year. And here they are uh, at 29, moving down. Afterglow was in the SGL, was a strong, rare tier guild, and now they're number 30. We have Demon Lord's Army at 31. They're a newer guild. We have Tele... <laughs> Chat, why is there a guild called Teletubbies in this game? What the f- <laughs> Teletubbies at number 32. <laughs> number 32. <laughs> Dropping three positions. 
Black Heart at 33, uh, earning half a mil, man. Man, it's getting rough down here with three positions forward, so they're now a tier two guild. Good for them. Spade is a newer name, and they have dropped to 34, but they have they're fairly new to the tier two system. And then Blazing Beast, Vex changed their name uh to a fox name. Was it Volpini Volpini Vol Vol Volpini Pasta? And now they're Blazing Beasts. They fell out of the tier two. They've never left the tier two. Uh, and here they are back on the tier two at number 35. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. I told, I told Vex, he's the guild leader of Blazing Beast. I told Vex like your name change ruined your guild. So let's just see if it works. And Isakala says Spade was the taxing guild. Oh, that makes sense. They're not going to last long. They're, they're not going to last long. All right, chat. That was the SGL. That was the SGL portion. Thanks so much for, um, tuning in thank you to yomu for the dashboard of uh, you know as always and this will be its own vod uh, i release it every sunday so yeah keep an eye out for that and thank you so much vod squad and yeah we did it we made it we made it we made it through the sgl all by myself <laughs>